WCG Russia round four, best of three between Mr. Winner, aka Imperius, and Shaddai. And I like what I'm seeing already. This is a, yeah, the best of three deciding round. This decides the second player to make it into the regional qualifier stage. First player to make it out of Russia was Hawk earlier, who eliminated on his way amongst others Cash. Strong players that we were expecting in this qualifier, but ended up not participating, were Neutron and Happy, and I guess Cooper as well. So Hawk, one of the top favorites, made it through. Cash couldn't. And now it's between these two. Mr. Winner or Shaddai. Historically, Shaddai has been considered the stronger player, has the better ladder stats, has the better qualifier results and so on. And this patch seems to be favoring him, I guess. As I said earlier in the pregame, he is one of the few strong players, strong undead players from Europe who does play the Dreadlord. And this is very much so looking like a Dreadlord, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Early Crypt, really late Altar. So it was Crypt, Ziggurat, and then Altar. Delaying the hero by quite a bit, but getting more gold early, getting more ghouls early, and going for a sixth Acolyte with a fast expansion, probably. Mr. Winner, he has varied his style against Undead over the last couple of months and years. Going from Rifles into Tier 3, Apparently back into rifles now, but he never was a two base player. He always was a one base player, as long as I know him, and it's been years at this point. He doesn't like playing expansions. He wants to play one base style, go for timings, creep up, go for a certain power spike, and then go for a killing blow, or at least a strong fight. Which is kind of the undead playstyle. Or at least used to be on that playstyle. But nowadays, Undead is more versatile, especially with expansions becoming more and more part of the meta. And that's exactly what's going to be happening here for Shaddai. Shaddai didn't pull out the creeps, though. Normally, we see this all the time nowadays to manipulate the AI so the creeps don't use their spells. Oh, he did do it. Okay, never mind. I saw it a little bit. I thought he missed it, but now he does. Pulls out the creeps, instant expansion from the undead. And no scouting at all so far from Mr. Winner. When you pull out the creeps like this, if you do it correctly, as you can see, no spells are being cast, no slows from the mud golems, no boulders from the rock golem. And that actually turns this creep into this camp into a very easy creep camp to take. AM is creeping up though quickly as well, one camp after the next, almost level 3 already, and the boots being found by the Dreadlord, that's the best item. Pendant also really good, but boots is just so sick. And we get, when you go for fast expansion, you want to get up the towers, you want to get up more ghouls, you want to have your defense in place, you don't want to have to invest into boots early on. So finding this is actually so, so, so good. Should I once again going with the sleep? Plus carrion build. And it's going for the counterattack. I think that's the right play. He wants to distract from his main. He doesn't want to have to fight against an AM and possibly a mass of footies. Level 3 AM is very strong against the ghouls. And there we go. Attack into the main it is. This is 6 ghouls. Along with skeleton support. Along with possible carrion swarm. There's the first one. Dreadlord getting drained quickly with the Arcane Tower, though. But Mr. Winner is not falling for this harassment. He's going for his own attack towards the expansion. Somehow he's not level 3 yet. How is he not level 3? I thought he would be. Can he cancel this? Canceling the Haunted would be a big deal. I think he's going to be able to. He should be. Uh, yeah, gets the cancel off. And now it's time to TP home. Scroll the Beast. Oh, he stays in here, actually. Which means it's going to be pretty expensive in his main base. Tower is gone, more peasants to fall, Dreadlord finding more kills, finding more experience. And there's no mining at all. Call to arms. All peasants have been turned into militia. But it looks like they're fighting this off by themselves, actually. I thought it was looking pretty rough here for Mr. Winner, but no. He is holding. He is now tier 2. He's going to be mining again. The Dreadlord's out of Rocks of Necromancy. 
but almost level 3, and with that, almost has another carrion swarm ready. Must be level 2 carrion now. Needs 10 more mana, so about 10 more seconds. Gets another peasant. Oh, that was a lot of peasants, though. Is he gonna be able to block him in? No! With a carrion swarm on the blood archmage, this could be dangerous, but he's going for the peasants again. With the one carrion, he had three more peasant kills. Oh, baby! Mr. Winner down to 20 supply. <laughs> 21 now. He's gonna get the footy. Uh, ghoul, of course, I mean. And he cancelled the expansion. I don't think there's a tech here for this Dreadlord. For Shaddai, is there? Oh, he's starting it now. Okay. Damn. Mr. Winner knew what to do. He was like, okay. Don't have to get back to my main to defend. If you cancel your expansion, that's good enough. But it was expensive. It was really expensive. He lost like 10 peasants or whatever it was. Paladin second. Huh. Okay. Valuing the heal over the damage of the MK, I guess. Dreadlord keeps up creeping, is getting closer to level 4. Natural now being taken by Mr. Winner. Really doesn't have the resources to expand, of course, with all the peasants he lost earlier. Could he go into Aura here? Devotion Aura on the Paladin? I think he might be able to. There's no coil to fear. But if... A Lich and a DK later join in, and then you have Sleep Coil Nova. That's pretty scary, so for that perhaps he will want Divine Shield. Very interesting, I got no idea where this game is gonna go now. Shaddai was aiming to play a fast expansion, but that was cancelled, so he has to improvise now. Or a Plenishment Potion for him, very nice from the Creep Camp. Healing up and getting some more mana. Good skeleton scouting, seats the human, moving towards the main, uh, the middle, I mean. And he's gonna avoid the army, okay. He's considering a possible counterattack again, I think. Almost level 4 on the Dreadlord, quite a bit of mana to use, and perhaps Mr. Winner was too greedy to go for towers. But no, he's not going for the main. Shaddai is creeping up a camp of his own, going for that laboratory. And it's Zeppelin! Okay, he is going for the main. Zeppelin drop into the main. We saw this earlier already against Maru. Level 4 AM though, really strong. So many water elementals now. Is this gonna be a tier 2 expansion now? Zeppelin to distract once again in the main. Like he distracted earlier. There's one arcane tower though. Oh, I love the carry and you can load up into the Zeppelin after. Oh, that's so nice. That is so nice, so he doesn't get burned too much. One ghoul taken out. All peasants survive. And this is a screaming expansion right now. When you go for harassment, distraction, play like this. Mr. Winner has to assume there's an expansion somewhere. He's trying to tower up the main so he can leave his main base to fend for itself with those towers and militia. Dreadlord looking to get the next Carrion Swarm in. Find some more kills. Find some exposed peasants over there. And L4 for himself. With a triple kill Carrion Swarm into the... Oh, did you see that? That was sweet. Carrion Swarm over into the Peon line. Triple kill. And two of them still extremely hurt, by the way. Ghouls coming out again. Attack. There's the expansion coming up now. And we saw another triple kill with a Carrion Swarm. We just caught the... Tail end of that one. Jesus Christ, he killed so many peasants in this game. So what do you do now as Mr. Winner? Is your main secure enough where you can go for army movement again? But the ghouls are ready. Once again. Shaddai is playing this very similarly to how he did earlier against Maru. And it's a smart play. A Across the map, distraction. On the other side, expansion coming up. We've seen this in the past from... Night Elves, from humans, but very rarely only from undeads. Might even be teching at this point. Is he playing this Dreadlord solo, by the way? 
Level 6 for the Infernal, of course, is extremely strong. And then the ultimate that actually does something. As opposed to Lich and DK. He's going to be able to run down some kills here, but once again, exposing his main. But the uh, Carrion Swarm wasn't ready there yet. The Dreadlord is getting drained. It's only one guard tower here. That's not too scary, honestly. Depending on how many ghouls are in the Zeppelin, he may even be able to load into it. Oh, but he's got Frenzy, right? Yeah. Somewhere along the way, Tier 3 finished for Shaddai, and now he's got Frenzy ghouls. And those are a lot more scary. That means, of course, also lots of bonus experience for this Dreadlord. Would love to kill off some footies and stuff here. It's juicy, juicy experience. Paladin almost level 3. And the expansion should be mining at this point. Quite a bit of gold here for Mr. Winner at around 700, but not a big army at all yet. Mana Potion, yep, yeah. Mana Potion on the Dreadlord and a Scroll of Healing as well as a Scroll of the Beast. If he gets to level 6, this is gonna be so scary for Mr. Winner. I mean, it already is scary. He's going up against the two base undead. His hero levels are good. Level 4 on the AM, level 3 on the MK. And actually, wait, did he retrain? On the Dreadlord? I don't think so. I think it's one in s one Sleep, one Aura, and two Carrion Swarm, probably. Almost level 5 with this. Oh, he is level 5 with this! Oh, that's so big. Level 3 Carrion Swarm is insane damage. And he's got five Carrion Swarms with that potion of mana, basically. Oh boy, these footies are gonna get roasted. Roasted, toasted, and burnt to a crisp. Here we go. Oh my god, the carrion. These footies are... These ghouls are so buff. Scroll of protection, scroll of the beast, more carrion, all footmen dead. Gyro's starting to come out, but... Sleep, surround. Is there a TP on the AM? If there's not, he's absolutely dead. Sleep again with a mana pot, and the AM dies, and the GG. It looked like Mr. Winner was in a good position this game. Cancels the expansion. At the cost, of course, of a lot of peasants, but he canceled it anyways. I think after the cancel, he should have TP'd back. When he canceled, he stuck around to kill the Narrow Tower. That took a long time. I think if he TP's back right away, saves more of his economy, and then set up two guard towers as quickly as you can and then you can leave your main i think it was a little too uh, persistent up there hanging around a little too long but uh, well played back into that game as well for shaddai that was not going the way he was imagining it to exactly But the counterattack style once again working out for him. When is the USA qualifier? That will be after this uh, qualifier at 3 p.m. So after the Russian qualifier, we're gonna have a bit of a break, and then we're gonna be back again at 3, which is. Uh, Around two and a half hours from now. Second map will be Concealed Hill. Which is a very difficult fast expansion map. Not just for human, but for anybody. I wonder if Shaddai still tries to go for it here as well. 
Mike Connor subbing for the first time. Thank you very much. And Nick the Hero again with the three euros. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, there are currently more than 1,350 and nobody's freaking donating. Let's be generous. Thank you for your attention. No, that's not uh that's not necessary. Thank you all for tuning in and thank you, Nick, especially for your support. Alright. Second map. Shaddai versus Mr. Winner. Mr. Winner now against the ropes. Can't afford to lose this. If he does, the dream of WCG is over. Should I perhaps a little fortunate today that neither Happy nor Neutron showed up? And also, on his side of the bracket, there was no Cash or Hawk to have to face either. So, arguably, a bit of luck on the side of the undead player here. So it's Ghoul opening again, but the altar isn't that late this time around, so he went... Uh, I think he went altar, Crypt and Ziggurat all at the same time, perhaps even? Waiting for the next Acolyte, maybe? Ah, no, it's, it's a delayed Ziggurat, okay. So, Dreadlord again, though, okay. A little bit faster than the last game. But the AM is still coming up more quickly. Can he even expand here? At the natural, there's poison creeps, the null assassins who poison all targets. They target each one once and then there's poison tick damage. Especially on low HP units that becomes very noticeable, like footies, like peasants, like ghouls. As we established before, Mr. Winner is really not an expansion player. He never does it. He doesn't feel comfortable with it. He is going to play this on one base. Shaddai has proven now numerous times he likes to play fast expansion. Something that was considered utterly impossible in the past. Nowadays it's not so impossible anymore. Against Dreadlord, against Ghouls, in general against Mass, what you want to have with uh, on the human side is... Uh, High level AM, level 3 and upward, and a lot of stuff. So single targets can't just be focused out, slept around and so on so easily. For that, Merc Camp support is very beneficial. But on the previous map, Northern Isles, we don't have a Merc Camp. And here on Concealed, we don't have a Merc Camp either. So he's not going to be able to rely on those. AM getting to his level 2 here quickly. Dreadlord going for the lab creep first, once again with the pullout trick. It's working well. It's gonna be level 2 quickly for him. Greater invul, not too bad, but greater healing, greater mana would have been more welcome. So I think the tech already started for. Mr. Winner. So this is one base Dreadlord play. Okay, that's kind of cool. So how does this work? Again, this is very rare to see. Uh, on ladder, Dreadlord is somewhat popular, but on the highest levels of competition, we see him very, very rarely only. Shaddai is certainly one of the best Dreadlord players in the world. So for now, they're gonna trade creeping. With all these ghouls here and such, uh, this is actually pretty quick creeping and a ton of experience. Oh my god, that's so big. That's so big. With that, he's basically level 3 already. A quick level 2 carry and swarm is super strong in the early game. It's Shaddai once again gonna go for the run by into the base. It looks like a Dreadlord was at the shop. Bought something, I think. And the AM is not in position at all to defend. And here we go, this is so many ghouls. Staff of Teleportation to get out if he needs to. This is seven ghouls along with skeletons. Starting off with the first Carrion Swarm right away. He needs two peasants, I think, for the level up. One was enough! Oh my god. Level two Carrion ready. And he can just walk in. 
It's not walled off and into the peon line. Oh my god. Call to arms being used. Uh, he's out of skeletons here, fortunately, for Imperius. Imperius was expecting the expansion up there, but it wasn't there. Oh my god, that carrion. Everything is so hurt. Everything is so hurt, it's insane. He's losing so many peasants once again. He's only got four peasants left, and they're all injured. Dreadlord looking for more pickoffs. And he actually walks out. He doesn't even have to use the TP or the staff. Another kill. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ouch. And that was a big mistake by Mr. Winner. He should have sent one unit to the expansion to see if there is an expansion, in fact, coming up. But instead, he walked there with the entire army, wasting so much time. In the end, not even forcing the TP, just the staff gets the Dreadlord out of there. Oh, oh my god, look at the corpses, man. Oh, Jesus. Whew. A that was painful. Are under attack. I told you! <laughs> Level 2 Carrion Swarm early on is really good! Against footies and militia and such. Level 4 already for the Strip Lord. Wow! Shredder now being purchased. Okay, that's gonna alleviate his lumber problems. That's true, but it's so expensive. Slowing down his... His, his timing of finally having a decent army. By even more. Almost 400 gold is what a shredder costs. So it seems to be rifle casters once again. For Mr. Winner, but oh my god, it's so late. It's easily enough time to go for tier 3, to go for frenzy, to go for destroyers again. And against this, of course, you need heal scrolls. Those are expensive. That's gold that Mr. Winner currently really doesn't have. At least he's got a level 4 AM, that's pretty good. Getting plenty of experience here. Is he gonna go Paladin again? Isn't MK with Clap better? Or how about an Alchemist? Alchemist Acid Bomb, isn't that pretty good? Against the Mass Ghouls? I don't know. Lionhorn of Stormwind, okay, it's actually should die with the Alchemist and tier 3 being attempted Oh, but the roasting of the peasants continues. Oh my god He's gonna have to cancel tier 3 the TP is still gone. He can't TP back into his main This is looking dire right now with the next carrion swarm all peasants are dead GG